This is a block in Riobos, and 28 years after independence, it still looks like this. No tiled roads, no proper structure, and worst of all, they still use the bucket toilets. Sharing her story on the hardship of using the bucket toilet system was 65-year-old Sophia Pietrus. She has been a resident of E Block for the past 25 years and knows too well the end result of a lack of basic services there. Three years ago, Pietrus fell ill and her sickness led to her disability, leaving her unable to walk. This made things difficult for her to use the bucket toilet. The toilet. The toilet, I use a chamber pot because I can't go alone to that toilet. Because sometimes when it's full, when worms are also found there, and I'm not comfortable with sitting on the pot, because what if I fall and the waste falls on me? Pietra says the bucket toilet system is unhygienic and increases the risk of being infected with transmissible diseases. I have not gotten any help from the municipality. The water is also closed and I have to buy water from the neighbors for $100. With that water, I used to clean the toilet. The community is also faced with other challenges such as electricity and water shortages. They are pleading with government to improve their living standards. In attempt to get comments from the Rio Bostan Council, this reporter was sent on a goose hunt from one person to the other without any help or response. Jelena Fuka, NBC News, Rio Both.